different people regardless if you're a collector an enthusiast or just a regular guy um for sure had this situation where you know you had to let go or to sell uh, your collection maybe a part of it maybe a lot of it to maybe fund another project or to give way for uh, another piece for your collection or to just simply liquidate now in this vlog we're going to talk about my fair share of this i came up with a list of my top 10 Reebok pairs that I regret letting go. So join me as I remember these pairs that I wish I could have kept. Let's go! My name by the way is Rai Qatar and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, Please subscribe, hit the bell icon for future updates. So let me share with you right now the top 10 Reebok pairs that I regret letting go from my collection. In case you're wondering, I'm doing Reeboks because it's Boktober. So happy Boktober to everyone who is uh, into Reeboks. So without further ado, let's begin this. Uh, top 10. Top 10 pairs that I regret selling or letting go. So number 10 is the... Instapump Fury OG, the Citron Black Red Colorway. This is the most iconic colorway of the Instapump Fury and I got this from a trip shop. I wasn't the one who went to the trip shop. It was actually a friend of mine who messaged me. I was in Boracay that time. He messaged me, uh, Sir Guy, I have this uh, Instapump Fury, a Reebok Instapump Fury OG. He sent me a photo. It was a size 11, it was half size bigger than what I usually wear. And the condition was pretty good. It just sucks that the pump technology back then wasn't working. So I wore it for like um, three, four times, then I sold it. I regret selling it a couple of months after I actually sold it. So I wish back then I can buy back the pair, but no. The one who got it apparently loved the pair. And until now, around uh, two, three years after that, I wasn't able to cop a pair of Citron in Sapon Fury. So that's part of my target maybe for the next couple of years. So that's number 10, Reebok in Sapon Fury OG, red, citron, and black. Now let's move to number 9, Reebok the Pump. I've had this phase in my sneaker collecting life when I was uh, sort of addicted to the silhouette, the pump. You know, the bring backs. So I've had like, how many pairs of the pumps? I lost count, but anyway, I've had both uh, OG colorways, the white, blue, orange, and the black, white, gray. Both were hooked up from Singapore by my good friend, Jin Yang. But you know, I had to let go of the black pair because uh, I think it was the time I was gathering funds for a specific project that I'm starting. So after the pair got sold, I saw it being posted by the one who bought it from me. And I was like, oh, what was I thinking selling that? But yeah, it was uh, for a good cause, but should I have any options? I wouldn't include that pair to, the, to that batch of uh, sneakers that I've sold. So that's number nine, the pump. Bring backs black, white, and gray. Number eight is the first non-retro pair from this list. This is the Reebok. Fury Light Graphic. If I remember correctly, this is one of the first uh, colorways of the Reebok Fury Light. You know, the Reebok Fury Light was a takedown or a uh, dial down or uh, like a modernized attempt of uh, making the Instapom Fury into a slip on with zero traction. I mean, I hated the traction of that pair. But that specific colorway from the graphic pack. I think they called it, uh, I love the 90s because of the design on the upper. I actually had that traded and uh, you know, when it finally sunk in that, uh, okay, so I've already let go of that pair. It kind of made me sad. But yeah, of course, we need to move on. But if by chance I see a pair for sale uh, now, my size, although the traction of that pair is really trash, I will still probably see their um, buying it. So that's number 8, Reebok Fury Light Graphic. Number 7 is another non-retro pair. This one is the Reebok BMX Fusion. Similar to the pump, I, I also had this face 
where I uh, tried to get all the colorways. Well, I actually had all the colorways locally released of the Reebok DMX Fusion. I love all those pairs, but for some reasons, it didn't good look on me, especially the light colorways. Though I still have one pair here, the collaboration between Reebok and Bait. I think given a chance, I would want to own another DMX Fusion, uh, darker colorway maybe. I would even mess with the Pyramus version. Yes, uh, fun fact, one or maybe multiple sellers uh, over at eBay is using my photos of uh, the DMX Fusion, the black DMX Fusion. That's number seven, the Reebok DMX Fusion in black. I've had multiple pairs of the Reebok question before, but in number six, I will specifically pick the Reebok Question Crocus collaboration with sneakers and stuff. That batch of collaboration for me had the best quality of suede and craftsmanship. Well, I never had the other one, the Reebok Question issue about nothing. But yeah, among the Reebok Question pairs that I've had, that would probably be the first one that I would want to acquire again. The Reebok Question sneakers and stuff, Crocus. Number five is the Reebok Shock Gnosis pair. Some of you may agree, some of you may not. But the design of the Reebok Shock Gnosis pair is really a, a hit or a miss when it comes to different colorways. I mean, until now, the best colorways for me are still the black and white, which was uh, worn by Shaquille O'Neal, and the reverse one released this year, for which I've had an unboxing. If you haven't seen that, the link is in the description. Anyway, on number five is the Reebok Shock Gnosis Agent J. Now, this pair was not a game worn. This was one of those uh, colorways that was inspired by something. But if you think about it, the reasoning was uh, a bit reaching. Maybe it made sense, but it was um, corny. Anyway, the Agent J was inspired by a Hollywood movie, Men in Black. The color blocking of the Reebok Shock Gnosis Agent J resembles the overalls that he was wearing, at least during the scenes where he was wearing the black and white Shark Gnosis. So yeah, like I said earlier, uh, Shark Gnosis colorways are a hit or a miss. For the vast majority of uh, sneaker heads, it may be a miss, but for me, this is a hit. By the way, I will still hunt for that Minions uh, Reebok Shark Gnosis. The one uh, shootubers and other uh, sneaker bloggers refer to as the Shaq Fu. It wasn't a Shaq Fu unless Reebok will come up with an excuse in having it um, renamed the Shaq Fu. Anyway, moving on. Number four. Number four is the Reebok Big Hurt or as they referred it back then because you know, lawsuits and all. The Reebok Tech 90 Strain. I will put in number four both OG colorways, the white black and the black white. I've had it both before, along with the blue one and the silver one. I've sold everything. Now I want to have the OGs back. But it seems, well, you know, Reebok will probably stay away from that silhouette. It wasn't a basketball silhouette, but it captures that 90s vibe, being part of the Mobius collection, obviously. You know, if you have the Shaq Noses, the Kamikaze, the Blast, you should have the Big Hurt too. That's number four, both OG colorways of the Reebok Big Hurt. On number three, I will put a couple of pairs again. These are both from the same collaborators, uh, Garb Store X Reebok Ventilator Supreme. For those who are not aware, Ventilator Supreme was the name of the sneakers. So it wasn't a Supreme pair, a Supreme branded pair. As mentioned earlier, it was a collaboration between Reebok and Garb Store. And Garb Store has been one of the best collaborators of Reebok for years. Those two pairs, the gray one who looks like a New Balance pair and the one with the purple hints with premium suede materials, those two just looks classy. And yes, I regret selling them for steel. It was back when I was hunting for this specific pair and I had to let go some of my existing pairs, including those two. So yeah, I regret that. And if I see the gray one or the purple one, or maybe both in my size, I probably will consider acquiring it again. 
That's number three, both colorways of their locally released Garb Store X Reebok Ventilator Supreme. Number two is the shattered backboard. Now, before you uh, Jordan heads get at me, this is a Shack Attack, a Reebok Shack Attack shattered backboard. If there's someone who's worthy in having a signature shoe with the nickname Shattered Backboard, it is the one and only Shaquille O'Neal. I mean, come on. All respects to MJ, I'm wearing orange right now, the Shattered Backboard colorway of the Jordan 1. But you gotta respect the man, Shaq. How many backboards did that dude shatter? Shattered Backboard Shaq Attack will, will always be a part of my uh, regret to sell list. Number one is a classic leather. As you know guys, classic leather is my favorite silhouette uh, among all the Reebok classic line. This one is a version uh, came out, if I'm not mistaken, it was early 2016. This is the Reebok classic leather in collaboration with Kendrick Lamar. Released only through Soul Academy, I was able to cop a pair from a reseller. Of course, I paid premium. Then something came up, I had to liquidate fast, so I sold it as usual. It was uh, below what I got it for. So when I saw that in the museum of uh, DJ Big Boy Cheng, the deck, you know, I was brought back and I was tempted to ask uh, DJ Big Boy Cheng if uh, he'll uh, sell me the pair. Which reminds me, yeah, I will try to ask him one time. So yeah, that was my top 10 uh, rebook pairs that I regret selling or letting go. How about you guys? For the Reebok enthusiasts, what are the pairs that you regret selling? Now, if you're not a Reebok enthusiast, if you're just a sneaker collector, what pairs, regardless of brand, do you actually look back and regret selling? Now, for those who are collectors of other stuff like toys, have you ever experienced this, you know, selling something from your collection, letting it go, and then afterwards regretting it? Comment down and let's discuss below. And while you're at it, please, Give this video a thumbs up, share this with your friends. Again, if you haven't yet, please subscribe, hit the bell icon for future updates. For your book enthusiasts, are you enjoying Booktober? How was the Booktober so far? And uh, yeah, for everyone, stay safe. And yeah, God bless you. I'll see you on the next one.